Hello, my name is Igor, and this is fifth video uh, in my tutorial series when I am designing and 3D printing objects from my students' workbook. And this is the second video where I am using a Design Spark Mechanica, so it is a good practice to learn this software too. This time I am designing a cylindric cylindrical objects. Here you can see the timestamp next to every object. This is orthographic view of the cylindrical parts. And this is isometric perspective of these objects. If you are from US, don't be confused. This is a European order of the views. As I mentioned in my previous video, this is the second video where I'm using Design Spark Mechanical. It's a free tool, very powerful tool for 3D uh, design. It requires some reg registration, but for 3D printing, it is free. There is no limitation in exporting those required STL files. Well, let's don't waste the time. Let's start with the first object. Okay, I am starting with the circle, which I will extrude to create a cylinder. And now I will move this plan, my working plan, a little bit, 10 millimeters, because in this plan I will draw this uh, line for cutting. I'm selecting this surface, extruding it, and then I'm selecting the main body, and I will cut from th that body with combine tool. And this is the front view, view from the left side, and this is view from the top. And in, we, uh, I decided to print six objects in the same time. Uh, these two will need some support and also here I will need that support too. With the green color here you can see the supports. And this will be approximately five hour, four or five hour printing. Here you can see the supports printed version. Well, I decided to use the blue color, but it's a little bit transparent, not the best solution for this, but it's okay. This is our object, so here I have to remove this support and object will be ready. And here you can see it 3D printed from all sides. The next object is also very simple, so again I'm starting with a circle, extrude it to get the cylinder and then I have to do cuttings. Uh, I will draw two rectangles and then I will hide the main body and extrude this rectangle symmetrical in both directions. And then with the combine tool I am subtracting, cutting uh, these rectangles from the main body. And here you can see this is the front view. This is the view from the left side. Hidden lines are not visible here. This is view from the right side. And this is the view from the top. And here you can see 3D printed object. Well again I'm starting with the circle extruded to the cylinder. And all I have to do to draw uh, these lines to generate the shape I will extrude. On one side I have to uh, extrude it completely and on the other side only the two a little bit more than a half of the objects. So here this is the front view, view from the left and this is view from the top. And this is rotating 3D printed object. <laughs> it's a little bit transparent, but I hope it's visible. Okay, this is fourth object in this series. O of course, all objects are cylindrical, so I'm starting with the cylinder. This, is a, this object is very similar to the previous one, uh, so I have to draw those lines to generate the shapes I will extrude. And again on the left side I have to extrude it completely and on the right side approximately to the half of the cylinder. This is the front view, this is view from the left side. 
and this is the view from the top. And of course this is 3D printed objects and a very nice transparent, you can see the infill. Fifth object, well uh, actually here I have to create a half cylinder and then I will cut uh, those objects for, from it. So I have to draw a half circle, I will extrude it, so this is the half cylinder. And then I have to draw those rectangles on one side and the other side. Ex I will hide the body and extrude the two rectangles symmetrically into the both sides. And then uh, I am using a combine tool to subscribe uh, those boxes from the main body. This is the front view. This is view from the right side. This is the view from the left side. And this is the view from the top. And of course, 3D printed rotating object. This is sixth object. I'm starting with two circles. I will extrude a smaller circle in upper direction and the bigger circle uh, extruding uh, down. And now only I have to draw those two lines which will generate the shapes so I can extrude them. These are negative shapes, creating those holes, cuttings. And basically we are done. This is the front view. This is view from the top. And this is the view from the left side. But this is symmetrical, so from the right side it looks the same. And this is the rotating object. Seventh objects in this series. I'm uh, starting with a cylinder, but this time in vertical position. I will draw two lines so to uh, generate those negative shapes so I can uh, cut them after extruding. And same on the other side, but uh, rotated in 90 deg degree direction. And I'm repeating this and here it is. This is the front view. This is the view from the top. And this is the view from the left side. It's symmetrical, so from the right side it looks the same. And uh, again, at this time, I am printing the rest five objects in the same time. Four of these five objects need support because they have some uh, surfaces in the air. So the printing, 3D printing, need the support. The green color does the support. And here you can see the 3D printing process. Those ugly surfaces are the supports, which I will remove later in post-processing. And this is our object from every side on rotating plate. Eight object. It's a cylinder. And all I have to do now is to create the hole, but first I will draw the shape this line will be extruded. I'm hiding, hiding the object, I'm extruding that shape in both directions and now I'm using a combine tool to uh, subtract the extruded shape from the cylinder. This is the front view, this is view from the right side and this is the view from the top. Some hidden lines are here too but they are not drawn. And this is the object. Okay, ninth object. 
of course again with the cylinder but to this cylinder I'm adding two boxes so first I am selecting uh, one side of the cylinder and I have to draw a rectangle I am selecting the center selecting uh, the rectangle from the center and then I'm extruding the rectangle uh, in one direction and those those small shapes I'm extruding into opposite directions so this uh, box will be inside of the cylinder and now same on the other side only uh, this has to be rotated 90 degrees again a rectangle defined from the center that I select on the left side menu okay extruding the rectangle first and then those small shapes extruding in opposite direction and this is it this is the front view this is view from the left side this is the view from the right side and view from the top And this is the object on the rotating plate. Now with the next object we have a dim dimensions. So this time I'm using the advantage of the Design Spark Mechanical. Because here when I'm drawing, for example, circle or extruding it, uh, I can enter the correct numbers. So here uh, I'm entering those values. In cylinder I draw that uh, middle shape and this is the final object. The front view, view from the left side, those one hidden line is not visible here and this is the view from the top. This object is very similar to the first one only this cutting is much bigger and this is very visible in this rotating object. Last object from this video, again we have a dimension, so I am drawing the exact uh, values into uh, fields when I'm drawing. So first I cut this middle side and then I again I'm drawing to drawing a rectangle, but this time I need the outside of this rectangle, so I'm using the trim tool. And I'm extruding these two rectangles as a negative shape. I'm deleting these uh, shapes I don't need anymore. This is the front view. This is view from the left side. View from the right side. And view from the top. And after 3D printing, this is how it looks like from outside. That would be it. In my next video from uh, this series, we'll be in Fusion 360, where I'm designing and 3D printing objects to explain a section in technical drawings. I hope you inform me to that video too. Thank you for watching. Bye.